What's up guys? Retro Collectibles here. Just gonna do a little video today talk about my small but growing Auto World collection. Before I do that though, just a short update on the Pink Skyline. A couple friends, three friends that I know messaged me today. Uh, they were concerned. They said they got refunded on their credit cards for the Skyline. I was like, oh boy. So of course I checked. I didn't get a refund. Now they didn't get a cancellation email and it just says processing unfulfilled whatever still on their order. Um, I told them what a friend told me. A girl that's a friend of mine that's been in the game a little bit longer than me told me that they've done this before where they've taken... They've refunded people and then re-pulled the money off the card the same day. Why they do it, I don't know. They didn't pick a good card to do it with because it's causing people anxiety, but I'm hoping that's the case. Because uh, the girl that told me, she got her Skyline before I got mine. So I'm hoping it works out anyway. I haven't got a refund yet, so here's to hoping. Um, anyhow guys, the uh, Skyline, that's going to be killer if it comes. I really do hope it comes because it just the story of the big glitch and everything. It's, uh, yeah, unusual the way Mattel does stuff. Anyway, the Auto World, the first ones I started looking at a couple years ago caught my eye right away. They don't sell them in Canada, of course. Well, they do, but it's got to be like a specialty die-cast store. Of course, we don't got one of those in Hamilton. Not like anybody here collects die-cast or anything. Um, but I seen them in the detail of them. Like, I love square body Chevys. That's one of the things I love. I love Mopars. I love Daytonas, which is also Mopar. Lo love everything Mopar. I love Fox body Mustangs. I love like the 80s Camaros, IROX and stuff. Um, but yeah, if, if you're going for detail, I collect older movie cars, older movie cars, Ertl stuff. You're not collecting it for detail from the early 80s. Look at the detail. If you just want a nice casting of your favorite car and you're going for detail, not a bunch of stickers, not how they look coming out of the, uh, like you want them the way they look coming out of the factory all stock. That's the way you do it. And they don't make millions and millions of them either. Like this is a regular one. They also make chases of these. Um, the red chases, whatever they're called. I can't remember the name of them. They look way different. A lot of them have red tires, whatever. Those are rare because they're not every case. They're not a watered down chase as I call it. Um... Those are like 80, 100 bucks if you find them, if you're lucky enough to open a case and get one. I don't get a chance to get any in Canada here because none of our stores have them. I would have to order cases and hope to get one, but awesome if you do. Uh, another one I got being a Mopar guy, had to get this guy. The details of these ones, it blows me away. And like I said, the number is not super low. But that's better than millions and millions, right? And they come out with a new wave of these. I'm not up on the waves. Like I know the truck I showed you is from a different series called Muscle Trucks. Uh, this one is called Vintage Muscle, this series. They make a bunch of different ones, different series. But even the paint colors and paint schemes and everything are pretty accurate on these guys. Like... So if you are going for accuracy, this is your line. I just thought of something. Looking at this guy here, I thought, man, if they decided to make movie cars, like detailed movie cars, look at the detail of that. If it was only the same year as the Smokey and the Bandit car, wow. They had two, Bandit 1 and Bandit 2, of course. This is neither because of the front end, but very similar paint scheme. What's the number on this? This one doesn't have a number. Hmm. But this is from the vintage muscle line. Maybe this is an early one before they had numbers. 
Does the other one have a number? See, yeah, this one's vintage muscle line. This one says one of 14,000 whatever. Yeah, right here. But this one has no number. But I'm okay with this one because it's gorgeous. Look at the details on it. A little bit more money than a green light, at least over here in Canada. You got to order them, whatever else. Uh, this next one, the last one I'm going to show you, is actually a one stop die cast exclusive. And it's gorgeous. It's another square body. It's uh, to commemorate the famous snake and mongoose line. We all know who those are. We should. If we don't know who they are, look them up. They're vintage drag racers that had quite the rivalry. Uh, this would be one of the track trucks, like one of the service trucks, whatever. Support vehicle. Don the Snake Prudum support vehicle. Cool that back in the day they would have square bodies for support vehicles, but that's what people drove, right? They weren't uh, rare and valuable back then. It was just what people drove. But the detail, again, like, wow. What's the number on this? One of 2,496. So this has a lower number because it is that uh, one-stop die-cast exclusive. But if you're looking for accuracy, uh, details, Auto World guys, you cannot lose. They make slot cars as well. Uh, you pay a couple dollars extra for everything, but you get what you pay for, and you're really getting what you pay for with these. Uh, this line up here too has a bunch of vintage drag racers, as you could see on the back. Actually, I'll show you the back of a couple of these just to see the types you can get. Oh, okay, there you go. So there is one of their chase cars. You could see with the uh, red rims and stuff. Ultra Reds. That's what they're called. Ultra Red Chase. Those are not watered down chases. Those are, like I said, they're not one per case. They are actually, man, I love that car. I, I just can't keep looking at it. If you're going for detail, go for that one. That came from my good buddy Dave H. So that came from my friend Christine. I don't mention names on here, but if she watches, she knows who she is. That's another one from Christine here, actually. But yeah, like I said, it's a small but growing collection, guys. But I just got the first one, which was this, a couple months ago at a die cast show. And if you have a favorite casting and you want a highly detailed one, Highly recommend these guys. Anyway, uh, sorry for the gap in videos. I'm heading back to work next week. So I'm getting everything ready to go. Got to get all the stuff done. You guys like videos on collecting. You don't like videos of me like sitting in my doctor's office and like cleaning out my car and like doing all the other stuff I got to get done. Another week and the ridiculous sickly beard goes. I started growing that when I left for surgery in December, and when I go back, she goes. Um, don't forget the big toy show, May 7, 2023, in St. Catharines, Ontario, the big Kouya toy and collectible show. I will put the link in the description. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching once again. Uh, please uh, subscribe, like, and share, and as always, happy hunting.